All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, I've decided to actually bring back my uh, Bitchu channel back up, kind of like how I had my political channel. I think I it's titled just Johnson Chan. That currently has a strike on it, by the way, because I had that uh, I, I had a video that was just was talking about um, I don't know, like twenty percent of all newborns in. Oh yeah, I better actually not mention the actual. Uh, I better not actually mention it because uh, once YouTube translates this into text, uh, it'll automatically fl uh, flag things. Like it's actually considered a blacklisted term on YouTube. Uh, I just really just fucking hate the stupid censorship. But anyway, you know, it's like okay, you know, what? I'm just gonna delete like you know all the uh, really extreme videos on my bitchu channel and just leave up like the ones where, where I think approximately I uh, was doing safe content. So if I put it all on YouTube, all right, which I don't have to because bitchu has all the videos from the the safe videos from the bad, uh, well, not bad. Uh, restricted YouTube account, then I should be okay going forward, right? But the thing I'm actually worried about is once the game is out and it's pretty good and obviously I know what I'm doing, when it gets more popular, blah, 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 right? Because I, 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 I've, I've played Escape from Tarkov, this game. Let me see. You guys can see this, right? Because I've seen uh, Twitch Escape from Tarkov. All right, I've, I've played this game for... God, where is the directory? I've I played I've seen and played this game for like years. I remember it was a kind of like a shitty, uh, buggy game. I hardly had any viewers, like maybe fifteen hundred people. Now it's like one of the most popular fucking games out there in the world. You know? Yeah, there's Deadly Sob. The guy I usually watches uh, Pastilla. He's actually really good. This guy's also like probably like the they call him the shroud of uh, Escape from Tarkov. Uh, Tarkov. So you know, just after a few years and a lot of dedication, you know, you can go from basically a nobody to like you know one of the top games, top ten on Twitch. All right, simply on the strength of having a really good product. So um, you know, I don't know if I'll ever be like that. I mean, I, I think with enough time and obviously have to have hire employees, right? You know, we could be something like this. But the idea is, get a, we make a really good game, we'll make a, you know, and then obviously we'll hook up the cryptocurrency stuff over here to it, and, uh, you know, we'll be Tamaguchi at that point. Hmm. So, you know, uh, whatchamacallit. So that's why I have to go back, you know, and clean out, sadly, you know, I don't know, the last six, seven months, you know, whatever, you know, up until like August 1st or whatever, on you know, my bit shoot videos. And then, uh, yeah, because, you know, you know what's going to happen, right? You know, uh, my game gets a little bit of traction, get a little bit of attention, get some fame from, from it, probably. Um, and then the fake news terrorist websites like Polygon, Kotaku, you know, all, 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 basically an extension of the uh, globalists, you know, the stupid, uh, you know, globalist network. And they'll obviously try to just try to get the game to platform censored or whatever. So I got to take precautions now. So that when it does happen later, because it's 100% going to happen, it's like, Oh, Judson Chance, developer of the whatever the fucking game. I have to actually get, I actually have to file a copyright for the, my property for that. I saw it, so I'm not even using the name. Because I've had the domains for a couple of years now. And it was like, oh, you shouldn't play this game because you're, you're funding right-wing terrorism, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you know, it's stupid fucking, you know, uh, pieces of shit. You know, I can't even um, can't even say the words I really want to say, right? But yeah, to total total fake news terrorists will probably actually take a financial hit because there are, because most people who play video games, so I think this is actually changing thanks to Generation Z, are actually left wing people, and then uh, there are actually, and I think I mentioned this before. Uh, I definitely mentioned before in a previous video. I don't know if it's still on the YouTube ones or on the BitChute ones that are now being deleted. Um. Whatchamacallit? Oh, yeah. Escape from Tarkov, right? Uh, I think it was like Kotaku or Polygon asked, why are there no females uh, in Tarkov, right? Because obviously they're trying to r uh, run the stupid far left wing bullshit SJW angle. And then Tarkov's like, no, we just don't want them there. And they said something about women cannot handle the stress of combat or something at the time. 
Yeah, uh, something like that. And then obviously that was the whole bait, right? And they wrote the article. And then I saw some stupid fucking left wing asshole that said, Well, thanks, Kotaku. Now I know not to uh, play this game. Right? And it had like 163 upvotes. Now, as I mentioned that, I now realize what if that's actually a lie? Right? Because clearly most people don't, on. I mean, most of us that play, we don't give a shit that there's no uh, female models. It's it's a fun game with a addic- within a very addictive looting structure. All right? I had to stop playing this game simply because the game is just too harsh. That's why I'm going to be designing something much more casual. But it's essentially still going to be something like this, but with like more shit to do. And it's going to be 2D if um, if it's not too hard for me to code uh, code that. Because right? it's actually easier for me to code in 3D in Unity. But the reason why I want it in 2D is because obviously I want everybody, even with shitty computers, to be able to play my game pretty well. Right? I'm going for uh, com- um, performance and compatibility. Right? Because I really do need that mass appeal. Um, 5,000 hours teaching Tarkov. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So obviously, you know, it's like it's all bullshit. So, but you know, with that being said, my my actual biggest threat is deplatforming, right? Because I have to because I have to basically get Microsoft Azure to do the database for the game. So the last thing I want is the big tech companies to like say, okay, you're not getting your hosting, you're not getting your database, because blah blah blah. You know, you're you're sexist, you're racist, you voted for Trump or whatever, uh, or so, so, something fucking retarded like that. So so and that's kind of like what I've been meditating on with the whole you know. Pray to God to figure out what I'm going to do with, you know, political bit shoot stuff. Because I still would like to be the right-wing version of Destiny. But, um, you know, obviously there are restrictions. But, you know, I'm still listening to Nick Fuentes' uh, D-Live replay from yesterday. So, uh, you know, uh, we've got... Um, oh, yeah, I should refresh this so we can get the updated prices. So, uh, whatchamacallit. So, like, and, and of course, Brexit. Uh, was um, you know, passed because obviously uh, I even mentioned that yesterday. Yeah, shoot, I think uh, God is is Crux being an asshole again? Okay, good. Crux is not being an asshole, so I don't have to hide because they always mention the stupid IP. And um, which McCall? So yeah, I think I think the Gripers, the new upstart conservatives, for those who don't know, are are going to actually um, uh, what you might call it. So they should be able to be successful. They're going hard against CPAC, which is like the fake conservative, you know, like like the left, the liberals generally don't know the difference between any of them. So they just think everybody's conservative, but that's actually not true. Kind of like how I understand there's actually a difference between kind of normal liberals and then like the actual crazy far left wing ones that like want to put everybody in gulags, you know, like that guy in the Bernie Sanders campaign. So... You know, so the good news is all the all the fake controlled oppositions being uh, being screwed over, right? Brexit is proof of, is not is more than proof of concept now. It actually is proof, a hundred percent proof that you can't throw off, you know, the 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 fake establishment globalist assholes. So, if Nick Fuentes and the Groypers succeed, hopefully, in the, within the next few years, with whatever they're doing, and obviously, I'm going to help them as little as I can not this book because I can't even cover news anymore for the time being we should be able to deal with the censorship and then we won't have any more problems uh, but you know it's a lot of uh, ifs and hypotheticals but um, I, th- I think it'll be uh, pretty good so thank you to the one person that subscribed so we're now at 184 uh, not that I care too much about this anymore because you know it's stupid YouTube once I'm done deleting uh, enough of the uh, offending bit shoot videos, um, which is a lot, which is unfortunate. I worked very hard. I was very proud to work on it, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'll, I'll probably throw back up the bit shoot link and then I'll maybe start thinking about adding more political videos in a safe manner. I'll have to figure out how to filter, right? Uh, but it'll be based on whenever bit shoot stupid processing servers get better. So, Anyway, we're up to Cloud World number 328. Uh, that's the skinny on what's happening so far. And uh, I think the more that I talk and think about it, I think the more we're kind of solid. And I finally heard from Mitch, so uh, he's just got more like annoying problems to deal with. So, But he's still around, so uh, that was one of my concerns, because I literally haven't just heard from him in like weeks. <laughs> so, uh, boy, but you know... 
That's just how it goes. But now that I'm learning how to code, hopefully that'll take off a lot of pressure from Mitch too. So I mean, I still won't really. I mean, I still won't really know how to program. I guess uh, a cryptocurrency wallet because it just like a it just seems boring to me, and b I just don't want to do it. It's like it's like I, I just like refuse. But you know, if you have me program like a video game, yeah, I'll code that shit all day, every day, right? You know, even if it's just like thirty to sixty minutes. So uh, you know. Uh, everyone plays a role essentially. So anyway, uh, I was gonna say clown world. Bitcoin searches for this week is basically finalizing at around seven. So it was for the past couple of weeks, and it looks like Google is still adjusting their data for search. So right now, the normies just don't want cryptocurrency, and it's uh, not hard to see why. Because even though things are going up, it didn't occur to me maybe they're, they're maybe they're really preoccupied with the coronavirus thing, right? Nick Fuentes is still talking about it, but that's because, you know, the situation does seem to be uh, worsening, right? Uh, but uh, with that being said, I still, like, don't want to go in a panic mode, right? And even Nick Fuentes did, did a pretty good job of, like, saying, hey, you know, we're not trying to create, uh, you know, panic and mass fear, right? We just want more restrictions and cautions and, you know, the travel bans for, like, two weeks because America finally started implementing a two-week travel ban and, to, to China and it's all like non-essential so basically no tourism or anything like right so as they said business people students workers and I forgot the other ones uh, are not affected by the travel ban but yeah if you just want to go to China for a tourist visit well you're not allowed to go and that's probably a good thing right at, at least until the world in China in particular you know get this stupid coronavirus bullshit out of the way so I don't know, but they said there. Everyone's already working on a vaccine, so hopefully, uh, yeah. I mean, usually, you know, in like the history of humanity, you know, like we always come up, we always come out on top eventually, right? So, you know, uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. But in, uh, in the meantime, yeah, you can expect prices to uh, uh, be pretty bad, except for cryptocurrency, uh, surprisingly enough. So that means when this, so when they come up with the cure for coronavirus and everyone starts going back in the stock markets, I'm curious to see what's going to happen with cryptocurrency, you know, because here, as you can tell, basically no matter what, cryptocurrency keeps going up, right? Um, but I don't know how much fear is also motivating these prices. So are they going to start dumping and then go back into the equity markets after they cure the virus, right? So it's going to be like, it's like a 50-50 at this point. So Bitcoin dominance is at 66%, 24 of volume is 104.6 billion, so that's pretty good. Bitcoin's at 93.51, so pretty much the same. Uh, so everything's kind of stabilized. I don't know why everything's green here, which is fine because I like green. Uh, but the prices have actually just kind of remained the same. So, yeah, as you can see, it's flatlining, so it probably is getting ready to go up. Uh, Litecoin uh, has gone up a bit, and then now it's flatlining at a higher high. So this is very good for Litecoin. So sixty nine dollars and forty nine cents. So that's money. It's money in the bank, pretty much. So very good. And it looks like it's getting ready for. It wants some more. And that's even better. Uh, Dog coins at two ninety six point six million market cap. So it's just kind of flattening out. Hey, what do we have for Steam? Uh, I went too far down. Steam is probably, yeah, here we go, 79, 16.69 cents. So basically kind of like the same thing. Let's see. So yesterday the Dow went three, almost 400 points. Yeah, because I, because Nick Fuentes also mentioned this too. The stock, the equity markets yesterday went to like the total dog shit. So CAN went down, GBDC went down. Yeah. You know what? I... Like, this should not be, like, this is supposed to be correlated directly to Bitcoin, and this thing went down, right? Even though everything else kind of went up, right, essentially. I really can't stand my upstairs neighbor. Um, yeah, it's down 27 cents, 2.38%. Like, this is just irritating to, me, to, to see that. So I guess we really will be using Ledger X. Uh, I guess we'll have to cross that bit bridge when we get closer. So, GMC coins at 2 to 3. Substatoshis, not a whole lot going on as usual. Uh, of course, it's still negatively affected. Uh, we actually did add a new uh, exchange we call Nort Exchange. And um, the right, what is it? NortExchange.com. 
Northern Exchange. So, I mean, this thing looks a little weird, but they look pretty solid, and the guy from 404 Coin Discord told me that they're pretty legitimate. So, you know, and they have like, you know, 11 trillion trade pairs. So, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and JMC 404, I 2x2 Coin are listed on Norton Exchange. So, they're not big yet, but, you know, because the deal was so good, I was like, oh, all right, you know, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so it's very good stuff, and uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, four four is at fourteen to fifteen. Uh, there was a large amount of buying at fifteen. You know, an okay amount of selling for fourteen, but definitely a lot of buys for fifteen. Right? You can see the buys here, buys here. Uh, a really big one over here, three point thirty eight. So you know, the supply is getting chunked away, but you know, Bitcoin and crypto going up plus the coronavirus is still just hammering four four coins so bad. But um. You know, it's still a very resilient coin, so, you know, it's just uh, how it goes. Um, and, of course, we had the game out already, then we won't have to even worry about the price, but, you know, it's obviously not out yet. Uh, it's not going to be for at least a couple of months, and that's, like, a really fast estimate, right? Because there's a lot of shit in the course that I'm taking that I have to go through. So, I'm, like, 60% of the way through in the mod... In the, in the specific course that says design your first 3D game. So, uh, but yeah. And that's just like the very basics. Like we haven't even gone into like RPG, the RPG course, the uh, multi, the Battle Royale course, the uh, inventory course to use Azure PlayFab database and all that other crazy shit. So uh, it's going to be a while, right? But, you know, I, I work on it every day, a couple hours, uh, as much as I can handle. I kind of made it thinking I might want a day off from just coding. Uh, but we'll see. But, you know, it'll eventually get done. Especially now that I can't do any more political shit. So, I mean, like, I gave up something pretty good, which is, you know, political stuff, right? I was gonna, you know, I was getting, I was getting, I was getting a lot of traction, a bit shoot doing it. Uh, oh, well, I guess God has other plans. For now. So, anyway, 2x2 two two is 55 to 56, so uh, pretty stable there. Not much happening. And, surprisingly, uh, compound coins starting to get stronger, at least in the buy and sell side. So 200 million uh, compound coin worth of buy orders at 41.50, and right now it's selling for a little under 5,000. So right now, I guess somebody really does want compound coin. Fine by me, all right? So it's a general indicator of what's really going on out there. All right, so I didn't really look at the uh, news today, and to be honest, I kind of don't feel like it, all right? Uh, but I'll just take a look at the headlines, see if there's anything interesting. Yeah, we don't care about Ripple. We know they're doing fine. Ethereum's are, of course, they're hoarding Ethereum. Uh, I think we talked about this yesterday. Uh, Bitcoin outperforms Dow as it plunges 600 points. Coronavirus scare impacts travel. It's actually the, it's just both. Uh, popular cryptocurrency already, 15 minutes crack report. Oh, yeah, I covered this yesterday. Um, treasure wallets can uh, be cracked with some physical electrical glitch or some shit uh can only launch digital wallets blah, blah blah okay so nothing on the daily hold all all right because today is saturday so i mean obviously not much is going to be happening uh so let me refresh this uh bottom bitcoin price to hit 152k in december 2020 it should it keep surging at okay Oh, he's just doing a projection. He's not actually predicting. I mean, yeah, of course, all right? But, I mean, I don't know. Bitcoin at 152K? That would, if it really does hit that, then that means if Bitcoin's going to hit 1 million at the peak, that means it's going to hit 1 million at December 2021, and that'll be then the bull run. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel that, like, not only is this bull run going to be, like, the biggest ever, Right, I mean that's actually guaranteed, uh, virtually guaranteed, right? You know, it's like because every bull run for Bitcoin always goes up higher than it ever has been, right? It, it hits all-time new highs. The prop, the problem that I'm thinking about is duration, right? Because up until now, every single bull run has only lasted like about two years, right? You know, starting from when Bitcoin how, so it's not really a lot of time to work with, right? Two years. You know, maybe even one and a half years. So I, I kind of want something that's going to last longer, right? Three, ideally four years, and then it'll crash like a like tulip mania bubble thing. 
All right, because you know I need time to move out of New York City and then live in Florida for the whole year, right? So I can you know bypass the stupid New York taxes because it's a real problem for me. And two, I just want more time to build up my finances and resources. It's obviously more time to build up my game. So uh, I don't know, but you know we'll just have to see. Coin Telegraph, twelve k to twelve k. The Bitcoin how many is just a hundred days away. Uh, Bitcoin prices faces the last hurdle for ten k. Bitcoin whale implies massive short position is just a hedge. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's always true. Like sometimes, I mean, you can short for any reason, right? You can short because you think it's going to go down, but it's also for insurance purposes too. Like, you know, you kind of want it to go up, but then you're kind of worried about some kind of event or just random or just the random market at work. And then you just short it so that like, you know, if things really do go south, your short position will make up for most or all your losses. You might even make a little bit of money. That's originally what a stock option is for. It's stock insurance. And of course, with the coronavirus, yeah, I could see why people would want to buy up some short positions just to cover their bullish positions on Bitcoin and crypto. Because, because uh, yeah, this coronavirus actually does go like really crazy pandemic, right? You know, because uh, I'm actually pretty impressed that more people aren't uh, going in panic mode. Uh, yeah, you know, shit's gonna really hit the fan at that point. I mean, shit, I'll have to probably stop doing this and then just go hide in a bunker somewhere. I don't actually have a bunker, so I don't know where I would hide. Uh, also, I'm Chinese, so, you know, people might just start, you know, getting really paranoid with racism and go like, Oh, it's a Chinese guy! Get the fuck away from him, right? Yeah, you know, he's, he's got, he's got infected with the virus shit. So that I have to deal with that kind of uh, dumb shit. All right, you know, because when, because when you're, because like I said before in previous videos, all right, what's the, what's the last thing the globalists want? And I still am surprised I'm the only one that has said this. In fact, I'm actually, you know what? I am going to actually tweet this out since I'm the only guy that's actually said this shit. Uh, let's go over here. Actually, did he say anything new? Uh, oh, he actually did. Um... Nationalism, not globalism. I do like this thing. I, I also retweeted it too. It's like everyone's so thin in this McDonald's enemy commercial. Uh, but it's got copyright content, so I want to kind of avoid playing it. Uh, demographic change in the Virginia State's attitudes about guns are shifting. Yes. So even the New York Times is gloating about that. Yeah, that's why immigration is uh, the most important issue facing America. But, of course, the uh, fake conservative assholes at TPUSA and fake conservative Inc., right? Jack Posobiec, uh, possibly your Ali Alexanders. Now, now that I have to be more clean, I can't say the words I really want to say. But basically all the controlled opposition on the so-called new right, you know, I call them the fake right. Obviously, if you've, been, if you've been with me for a while, you know, you saw me on BitChute, right? When I was telling the full truth, you know, for a short little time. Yeah, you know the real word I want to use, but you know we can't we, we can't say that anymore. Um, one thing about the coronavirus that no one seems to have addressed is that the globalists. I'll put this in quotes so people who are in the know know who I'm really referring to. Seem to address is that the globalists do not want this to go pandemic because if it does they lose all control over society it also makes everyone go hardcore far right wing mindset because you can't ignore truth mm. you can't ignore truth life or death Hmm. I'm gonna have to try to shorten this. I really hate the stupid character. One thing about the coronavirus that no one seems to have addressed is that globalists do not want this to go pandemic because if it does, they lose all control over society. It makes everyone go hard, far right way mindset because you can't ignore the truth, life or death. All right. All right. I think. Uh, Okay, and we'll put that on Gab as well. So hopefully, uh, I mean, obviously I wish I had more room to tweet, but, you know, it's how it goes. And I got seven. And I guess I'll take a look at it later. So anyway, what was I looking at? Ah, so why was I going to that whole diatribe, right? I was basically saying 
yeah, so, but yeah, I don't know, I'll go, I'll go backwards a couple bit. But yeah, basically, um, the globalists just don't want to, uh, you know, to lose control of society. So that's how I actually know that they'll probably solve it, because as much as they want to probably do bad stuff, right, you know, they can't do bad stuff if they lose control of society. So that's how I know that eventually something will be done about the virus. Uh, and then we'll probably find a cure, or, or at least uh, create some sort of vaccine or partial vaccine or whatever how the hell it works. And then it'll be contained and then dealt with. And then eventually the people who have it will either unfortunately die from it, or they'll actually, their, their body will be able to fight it off with whatever medications and vaccines we can give the victim. And then that'll be that. And it's just like what the whole Ebola virus thing that was going on in Africa. Yeah, that actually just didn't go too crazy, right? It stayed in Africa and we treated the shit out of it. We also did the quarantines. And, you know, we came out just fine, right? So this should be no different. Uh, but, you know, uh, it does seem to be particularly a nasty strain. Uh, or whatever it is China, you know, wound up uh, creating or whatever from the bats. Or probably more like their bio lab. Because they actually have... Nick Fuentes has even mentioned that the biggest bio lab in China is actually in Wuhan City. So... Yeah, I, I actually think Chinese were trying to create a vaccine, and then they just fucked up somewhere. So, uh, yeah, and then now we're all <laughs> having to deal with it. Uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, you know, if I were a real asshole, you know what I could do, right? I could, put on a, I could put on a mask like they have in China, you know, pretend to be sick, and then just go in a subway, and then just start coughing everywhere. Because I, I, I read, I tried searching for this, but I couldn't find it. But I read that, like, uh, people are getting really paranoid around people, uh, Chinese people that look sick, and people are video recording and they just say, "Oh, they're so racist." You know, if I were a real asshole, I could pretend to be one of those sick Chinese people and make people scared on the New York City subway. And then, because of the hate crime laws, you can't actually, you know, be racists because you go to jail. But that's so cruel. But man, can you imagine how many lulls and pranks you could get for doing that? Oh man! But you know, let's 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 not do that, right? You know, if if people are actually not being racist, we should reward them by just not making them afraid. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, Bitcoin's network operation are controlled by five companies. Yeah, I'm sure. Bitcoin gains steam as it looks towards 10k. Yeah. That's fine. This is the right amount of Bitcoin to keep an investment portfolio. So CNBC is going all right with it. Uh, Litecoin leads Bitcoin. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I've been also deleting some videos on my um, YouTube channel that has a strike because I have to also clean that up for because obviously I'm making uh, my game. So now I have to be more clean, a lot more clean, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, my video is still here, right? Yeah. Because at least now... At least now, if, you know, I become like a multi-decamillionaire in CNBC, would actually be okay with interviewing me, despite being a Trump supporter, quote-unquote. Uh, I also forgot that today is Black History Month. Yeah, it's like, well, okay, you know, I can use that for fame. So, you know, like, I mean, it sucks because I can't tell the whole truth, right, as much as I like to. But on the other hand, God can compensate me by giving me more general fame right and then i can kind of just start piggybacking off of the mainstream you know media or terrorist media well more like just the regular mainstream like there's still some good outlets out there like cnbc is actually pretty good right and i think not only because people are you know investing their actual money so people don't bullshit around also there's actually heavy financial regulations so you actually cannot do fake news like well you can do fake news if you're cnn but if you're something like CNBC, where people actually get hardcore investment advice, you could probably, <clears throat> you could probably, eh, coronavirus, but you could probably actually sue CNBC if you lose a shit ton of money. And then like, you're like, hey, you deliberately did fake news. I'm going to sue you. And then the SEC will take their side and, th and then you're fucked. I kind of wish we actually had that kind of thing everywhere else in the American government. Then we actually wouldn't have to deal with so much censorship or fake news, right? But obviously the globalists, you know, have different plans. So CNBC is pretty cool. Uh, the New Yorker guy that did the uh, trolls for Trump for Mike Cernovich a while ago. He actually emailed me back. But I never heard back from him. So I guess he didn't get the thing he was looking for. Uh, he was, he's pretty cool. Uh, the Ver uh, I don't know about The Verge, but 
Variety and the Hollywood Reporter are pretty cool. All right, so so I still have some outlets, and then I can kind of you know be like the barbarians from the Roman Empire, right? You know, use the system against itself, kind of thing. All right, so yeah, so it's like yeah, I guess it'll balance out. Actually, yeah, I didn't realize it. It does balance itself out, right? And I can still say the word globalists, right? At least for now. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll just go go from there. Litecoin leads Bitcoin, uh, blah, 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 gas is, the gas bubble is feeding a speculative, what? I mean, this is probably bullshit, but because we don't have any other stories, I guess we'll just take a look. How, where, how is it 30 minutes and 30 seconds? Like, I haven't been rambling for that long. Boy, like, even when I try to not create content, I just seem to create a lot of content, which is a good thing, but it's like, wow. Instead of flaring off gas, they are burning it to run computers that mine bitcoins. Is this any better? Oh, you gotta be. Tree hunters often complain about the power consumption of buying bitcoins. Yeah, the name of this website really is treehugger.com. I'm willing to bet this is, you know, I'm willing to bet this is run by like a globalist right wing guy, right? And he just wants to like just troll, right? I mean, there's money on the table, right? You gotta, there's a lot of tree huggers out there, right? You know, so, you know, because like, because, like, remember, AOC wouldn't come out with, like, a crazy Green New Deal if there weren't already a market for people who want to hear this shit, right? So, uh, that, that's how I know. Um, that's how you know there's a market. Bitcoin is consuming, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, single transaction is even more ridiculous. So, this guy is actually just complaining. <laughs> I don't want to read this whole thing, but... Uh... <laughs> This has to be a joke. This website has to be a joke. <laughs> oh, God. This website has to be a joke. <laughs> he is actually complaining about the environmental effects of Bitcoin mining electricity. <laughs> this has to be a joke. <laughs> this site has to be run. <laughs> this has to be fit. <laughs> oh my god. All right. If you like what you saw, read, or heard, hit the like button, follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. What are my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash uh, the love and factor BTC. Hopefully when things get a little more stable, we won't have to bounce around so many different channels or something, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I think nowadays, I think we will. So, you know, it's like, just gotta keep shit clean. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Does he have the, uh, yeah. You know what? We're going to make this the thumbnail. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, or wherever you're watching this from, or, oh yeah, I already said the YouTube thing, so, yeah, just subscribe, right-hand side of this page, and, uh, yeah. Well, I used to say get the channel to 46 subscribers and beyond, because that's what I had on my previous YouTube political channel, but at this point, I don't really, well, I mean, I still care about the subscribe count, but I kind of just want to, like, put out content, help people, and then just blah, 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 you know, um, so... Besides, I still haven't. I still have to kind of pray or meditate. I like the word meditate, but it's essentially the same thing as pray to God about you know the whole fame thing. Because I really very much enjoy the fame thing. I like it. You know, I did a movie about it, right? Uh, of course, if I could do it all again, I would not have made the movie. But instead, just get closer to God, just studying the Bible, because that's all God really wants. And then just you know do my at the time YouTube videos, and then I probably get struck down or whatever but at least you know there you know that's what that would have been a much better and cheaper and less stressful uh route but also would have also made me a lot more money too but uh well you know you just uh, just, just start over again right and then start hopefully then we'll you know <clears throat> it's kind of like investing right i had to learn how to like when i was learning how to invest and make money i have to learn how to like not take such crazy risks because i love doing crazy high risk stuff but it's just causing too many problems. So now I got to lower my risk, which 
lowers the reward, I do something more consistent, right? And now I gotta do the same thing with here. So I can't go too crazy with the content, right? I can't be talking the truth, right? Because right now the truth is being censored all over the place. Uh, so even though I have access to it with BitChute, right? I mean, assuming they, I mean, they will eventually solve their stupid processing problems. Uh, it might take them weeks, it might take them days, it might take them months or years, but they'll eventually, hopefully, solve it. <clears throat> But then that that puts my game at risk, right? And therefore everything around it. And then which directly has a negative impact on, you know, the cryptocurrencies here, right? I got people relying on me, uh, on me about it. So, you know, what do you do? Ah, so it's like a ah, delicate balancing act. But, you know, if anyone can figure it out, it'll be me. And I kind of already have a good idea of it. Just I just need to hammer out the details, essentially. So anyway, make sure I burp so I don't get hiccups. So enjoy the rest of your day or night. I'll see you all in tomorrow's videos. And uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, it's a 50-50 for me about where crypto is going to go. Because clearly, people really want cryptocurrency. And coronavirus fears are dragging it down. Now, the problem is, once the coronavirus does get solved, if it does, you know, I would say 99% chance it does. I just don't know when, right? Uh, and things always get worse before they get better, right? Just like they say in the dark night. <clears throat> the equity markets will undoubtedly rebound back, right? It'll, uh, it'll go up a lot. And then what you'll have is people who are jumping into crypto now because they're afraid are going to dump their crypto to go back into the equity markets. So that's going to be a lot of downward pressure on crypto. On the other hand, you know, uh, it could also have a different effect. Like everyone's so happy that you know the coronavirus is solved and they'll just buy everything up so it's actually a really it's a huge 50 50 i really have no idea all i know is right now negative sentiment is currently not affecting cryptocurrency at all it's like practically gone so at least that we that's very good so uh we'll have to just see what happens so anyway see you all in tomorrow's videos uh thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your day or night and always remember jensen chan JMC coin, 404 coin, eventually my game will be here somewhere. And of course, uh, I'm too hungry now to laugh because I, I got my good laugh, but I can't believe it. This site is real, right? There's a reason why Bitcoin will always be clown world to me, like the true clown world, because I see all sorts of crazy ass shit. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm like a guy inside Grand Theft Auto Online or Grand Theft Auto. It's like, you just, you just meet all sorts of crazy shit. It's just like... It's like, how is this real? But it is. It is.